Hey, what's up guys, it's Luke here, and today I am back with some more NBA 2K18 My League, rebuilding the Phoenix Suns, and we are back after Season 2, losing in the Conference Finals to the Golden State Warriors. We're going to try to bring it back next season and hopefully win it all and complete the rebuild. So we're in the offseason right now. I went through this stuff just because nothing really changed for us. We had no one retire. We weren't in the draft lottery, anything like this. So we're going to go through the NBA draft. Let's, I don't know if we have a first round pick. I'll see if we do, and then let's see who we can pick there. Okay, so we do have the 29th pick in the draft. We're going to look through trade off or see if we can get anyone or anything good for it. Uh, I don't think there's any uh, one good available at the spot. Felicio would be nice off the bench, but he does make eight million. I'm gonna take the second round picks, just because at this point in the draft, there's no one above like 68 overall, and those kids, a lot of teams need one. That was one or two second round picks to accept the trade, so we're gonna take that from the Cavaliers. And then we are going to skip through the draft. All right, so after the draft, obviously we didn't draft anyone. We got some team or uh, player options here. All of them are team, actually. Um, the only one here that's really getting it, like a good chunk of money is Josh Jackson, but I believe that's seven million over two years. We're definitely going to keep Sarge. We're definitely going to keep Josh Jackson. Um, We'll keep Chris, he's solid off the bench. We'll keep Malik Monk, we'll keep Bender. We'll keep Bacon just because he's progressively going up because like, I believe last season at the start of the season he was a 70. So we'll keep them all. Um, who, who declined? Obviously, you know, the young guys aren't gonna decline. Paul Millsap, uh, I'm not paying 30 million for him. So if that's what he wants, I'm not gonna sign him. Uh, anyone else? No one else good. George Hill, no thanks. Um, qualifying offer, yes, we are going to make a qualifying offer. Or uh, Devin Booker. I think I'm just gonna offer him a deal just because we have bird rights on him. I can just give him as much as I possibly want. So we'll do that for him. LeBron James is a free agent and he wants 40 million. If we could sign him, that would be incredible. Same with Carl Anthony Towns. He wants a little less though. We have negative six in cap space. All right, we're gonna have to make some trades. All right, so we're gonna do this trade to trade away Avery Bradley because. He makes 20 million, 20 million a year, and I want to try to go all in to sign either Carl Anthony Towns or LeBron James. So we're gonna make this trade to get rid of his 20 million he gets a year, and plus he hasn't really even scored that much for our team anyway. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna see if we can do any other trades to free up cap space. All right, so we're gonna do this trade right here now. I really do like Robert Covington, and I like having him on my team, but he makes 10, he makes 10.8 million dollars a year, and Harry Giles makes two. And I'd rather take him here just because the plan is to get one of those guys in free agency. So we're going to drop Covington's contract and uh, see if there's anyone else we can drop's contracts. We'll see where we're at in money to sign one of those guys. We have 21 in cap right now. LeBron wants 40. Carl Anthony Towns wants 33. Obviously, we have, we're restricted. Booker's restricted. We can give him anything. We have bird rights. Um... So if we go all in on like LeBron or Carl Anthony Towns and then sign Booker, that would be huge. All right, so we're gonna dump Dragon Bender's contract and uh, see if we can dump anyone else's. All right, we're gonna drop Malik Monk's contract as well for Wendell Carter Jr.'s. Not bad, I actually really like him. He goes early in the draft. We are now looking at 27.7 million in cap. Carl Anthony Towns wants 32 and a half expected. We're going to dump Bruno's contract for second round picks. We are going to dump Marquise Chris contract for a second round pick. All right, we now have the money to sign Carl Anthony Towns. And this is all I can offer him, really. All right, well, let's offer it. We're going to offer Booker the rights. Basically, give him anything he possibly wants. Apparently, 25 is all I can give him. Well, all right. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, LeBron and Carl Anthony Towns did not sign with us. So we have to sign someone else. And it looks like it's going to be Kemba Walker. 
I don't know though, Tobias Harris is, is nice too. I don't know, I don't know who to sign. Because then if we sign Kamba, we start Devin at shooting guard. You know what, yeah, let's do that. Kamba's a beast. We're going for it this season. Okay, so unfortunately I messed up the whole Devin Booker situation and ended up giving him all my money. So we can't sign Kemba, so I'm going to sign Rudy Gay. I'm going to sign some guys that are willing to take a little less, even though they're high overalls. Alright, so we're going to sign Ilya Sova for minimum. We already signed Montrez Harrell with some of that money. We're going to sign some other guys for minimum that are decent overalls. Alright, so we get a couple of uh, decent backups for minimum. After free agency, honestly got a little worse. Guys overalls got down and we traded guys to sign more guys. But we ended up using it on Booker when that was not my plan. But we can still work with this and hopefully uh, do well this season. There we go. See, everyone's going up except for Montrez Harrell. Player progression is good. Everyone's stats are going up. Porter, Jackson, Dario Saric. Aiden's going up. If only he got more shots. Yeah, everyone's going up. Alright, so this is the lineup we are rocking with this season. Obviously, we got Booker, George, Michael Porter Jr., Saric, Aiden, Josh Jackson, we got Holiday, Harrell, Wendell Carter Jr., Bacon, off the bench. So that's the lineup we're going to be running with this season. I'm going to sim to the end of the season. Hopefully we do well. Hopefully we make the playoffs. And hopefully we can win a championship. Oh no, Paul George and Michael Porter Jr. both got hurt. Luckily they'll be back before the end of the season, but it's not. Alright guys, so unfortunately... For the uh, rest of the video, the voice recording just kind of like gave out, it just stopped working and the screen recording got really glitchy, so unfortunately I couldn't use that, but for the rest of the season, we ended up making the playoffs, we were the 4 seed, and we lost in the second round to the 1 seeded Warriors, and then, but I'll show you guys all the transactions I made in the off season and all that we did there uh, right now. So look at our transactions, I'll show you the roster in a minute. Um, I'll show you those signings in a second. That was just to fill out the rest of the roster. Well, let's go back to the free agency period and um, show you some of the big trades we made. So here were the trades we made during uh, during the free agency time period. So none of these are really that big. Uh, we traded Harry Giles for a pick just because he made a lot of money. Same with Harold. And then we made this huge trade. We ended up trading Paul George in some second round picks for Markel Fultz. Now, Fultz I believe is an 87 overall, George was an 89. George was now 31 going into the season, Fultz was like 23. And we needed a point guard, Booker is much better out of that shooting guard spot. And that freed up so much cap, George is making 20 million more uh, as well. So, yeah. And, we just made a couple other trades, nothing else major. We traded away Montrose Harrell for a pick, but that was our big one. We got him, and then in free agency, we signed Tobias Harris to a four-year, $132 million deal. I really wanted to get Jalen Brown, but he signed with the Clippers, and unfortunately, I couldn't do anything about it. So we ended up getting Tobias Harris, which I was actually really happy about. And then we signed a bunch of uh, guys for minimum to fill out the roster, because obviously we traded a bunch of guys, so we signed these six guys right here to a short one-year deal right here all right so now I'll show you the roster what the roster is looking like now uh, we got this is what's really cool is that I know it says an 86 but it really is like an 87 after player progression it just skyrocketed we now have seven guys 83 overall or higher we have Saric, Aiton, Tobias Harris Josh Jackson, Markel Fultz, Michael Porter Jr., and Devin Booker. So now we can like create the starting lineup 
And now we have Markel Fultz, Devin Booker, Michael Porter Jr., Tobias Harris, DeAndre Hayden, with Josh Jackson and Dario Sarge coming off the bench. That is awesome. We also have Wendell Carter Jr. The rest is kind of so-so, but I mean, that is great. I really think this is a championship caliber team at this point. Um, we've signed some big names, and even though right now Tobias Harris is only an 84, he is only 28. He's like the oldest guy on the team. The team's really young. Um, but he will progressively get his overall up as well, and he is a, a great scorer too, uh, getting buckets on the teams he's played in in the past. So I'm really excited about this team for next season. So sorry that the uh, recordings cut out and we just kind of stopped halfway through the season after you know the guys got hurt. We ended up losing the second round of the playoffs, and I went through the off season. We didn't have any draft picks. If you're curious about that, I know we. Um, so yeah, so we just made those uh, a couple different trades for um, Harrell and Giles to free up Cavs space and uh, signed Tobias Harris. And we also made the huge trade with Paul George and Markel Fultz. So I'm really liking the way the team looks right now. I'm really excited for next season. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm really hoping we go win it all next season and complete the rebuild of the Phoenix Suns. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see all of you in the next video.